Hey everybody, I've got a new project idea. So I have a 1994 Chevrolet S10 Blazer. It's got some of the fancy stuff, but not everything. Um, it's got power door locks, power windows, but it doesn't have the power mirrors and it doesn't have the keyless entry. The front seats are the 6040 bench seats instead of the bucket seats. And my understanding is you could only get keyless entry if you had the bucket seats because the keyless entry module would actually be inside the console which is between the two front bucket seats but I don't even have a front console in mine so I thought it would be kind of cool to f get the factory module for keyless entry and add it into my blazer but here's kind of the challenge it's not really important but I wanted to do it without cutting any wires in my Blazer's factory wiring harness. And I just so happened to have the factory service manuals for the 94 Blazer, well for the 94 S10 trucks and Blazers. So I thought, can I get enough information in here to do it? So I'm just going to dive in and show you what I found. So to start out, I need to find the section about power door locks. Here we go. And these factory manuals are great. They have um, all kinds of excellent wiring diagrams here. So here is the page on power door locks and mine is a four door model. So if we trace this right here, we have the switch on the left and right for locking and unlocking all of the doors. And as we can see here, when you press the lock button, we're taking power, so 12 volts from over here in the fuse box, or coming through the fuse box, through here. So pressing the lock button is going to activate that, which sends 12 volts through this connector over here, over to the lock relay. And that's going to activate this, which activates the door lock motors on all four doors. It's pretty simple. And then the same, it, it's the same way with the unlock. Man, this is focusing awful. Okay. Obviously I'm gonna have to get into these connectors a little bit. You can see there are some connectors here for the different um, doors. So like C C293 right here goes to the left front door. C373 goes to the left rear door. C371 goes to the right rear door. And C295A goes to the right front door. I think the really useful thing here now is to look at what the schematic for the keyless entry looks like and see how different it is from this. And I saw that just as I was perusing the manual here, and here we go. Um, this is the page for the two door, so here's the four door. So over here we have the actual keyless entry module, uh, and it's pretty straightforward. Pin A is an orange and black wire, which is power. Pin C is a purple wire that goes to the data link connector, which is for programming the keyless entry module. Pin D is also 12 volts. Pin F is for locking, it appears, because it goes to the same place in where the lock um, switches would go. P 
pin G is the unlock. Pin E is ground, I believe. Yeah, because it's also going to the negative on the accessory sockets. And then pin B is going straight to the left front door lock motor. And H is for the end gate window release. So you can see that pin B, which is a tan wire, goes to the left front door lock motor. It's um, actually going to be for unlocking just the driver's side door because you know how these keyless entry systems work. When you click, when you press the button once, it unlocks just the driver's door. And when you press it again, it unlocks all the other doors. So pin B has some solid state relays internally that directly control the driver's door motor. Whereas pin G, if we trace it, goes over here to the unlock switches and then it goes into the door lock relay. And the door lock relay actually only controls the other three doors. Uh, whereas, like on the, the first schematic we looked at, the door lock relay here was also controlling the driver's door for unlocking. But on this, the door lock relay actually only controls the other three doors, and then the module is in control of the driver's door. One thing that I noticed is that it's still called C293 for the driver's door here. So these schematics are actually pretty similar. C373, C371, except here it's called C295 for the right front door, and I believe it had a different name on the just um, the standard power door lock schematic, but we don't really care about the right door because the right door is kind of all hooked in already. So it's just the left front door that's going to be a little bit different. So for my goal, we basically need to tap into all of these different connectors. Um, we're going to have to get 12 volts somewhere, which that should be pretty easy. It'll have to be always on 12 volts because this keyless entry module, module is always going to be active. Getting the purple wire to the data link connector will be a cinch. I mean, I've already looked at my blazer and the pin on the data link connector is populated, so it's going into a harness somewhere and then just um, not actually being plugged in. But I can remove that, that pin from the data link connector if I can't find where it goes in the harness. And then pin F, which is going to the lock, which I guess it, it commands the vehicle to lock all the doors. Um, that should be pretty simple. We just need to tap in to any of these connectors. Um, conveniently, C293, which is the left doors wiring connector, has both the lock and the unlock outputs here. So we should be able to tap in there for these two pins right here for locking and unlocking. Pin E is ground, that'll be a cinch. And then pin B, which is only supposed to go to the left door, you'll notice that um, C293 also contains the front door lock motor. So C293 is going to actually have most of the, the signals that we need. Um, pin H I'm not super concerned about yet. It's the end gate window release. I don't really care if that one doesn't work. The button in, inside doesn't actually work. Um, I know there's a problem with it that I could fix, but I'm, if I can get it working, it'll be an added bonus, but I don't really care too much about that one. So let's go back to the powered door locks um, schematic here for a minute. The four door version. And I mean, we can confirm here this. So this, this, actu this schematic is actually representative of what I have on my blazer right now and you'll notice 
that C293 is exactly the same here. It's where the left front door lock motor gets hooked up in common with all of the other door lock motors and to the door lock relay. Um, and you'll also see right here that C293 still has the signals from for locking and unlocking from the left door lock switch, which is right where the keyless entry schematic also had those tapped in. So basically, C293 is my main connector that I have to mess with, and then I just need to get power and ground. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make a cable that plugs into C293. Basically, I'll C293 is really two connectors. There's one connector on the door end of it, and then there's one connector on the wiring harness end of it. Um, based on this schematic, it looks like the female end of the connector is going to be the harness side, and then the male end of the connector is going to be the door side. So I just need to make a little cable with both male and female connectors matching this, and then I can change what happens in C293. So on pin A, from the door lock side, I'm just going to send that directly to the keyless entry module. And then on pins E and B of C293, I can tap right in. So we'll still forward the, the signals through so that the lock and unlock switches inside the interior of the blazer will still work. But then we'll also tap into them and send them on to the keyless entry module. So one concern that I had about the keyless entry module here has to do with the fact that the front left door is kind of separated from the other three doors when it comes to unlocking it. Um, you'll notice that the interior unlock switches right here go to the same splice. It's, it also goes over to the keyless entry module. This S234 splice right here in the middle of my screen. And then if we trace it over here, it goes over to the door unlock relay. If you trace the, the output of that, it's only going to the other three doors. So just by looking at the schematic, you'd think if I press the switch inside the blazer, it's gonna unlock the other three doors, but not the driver's door, which would be kind of dumb. Uh, but I tested a little bit with the keyless entry module that I got. And it seems that when the keyless entry module notices that the signal over here on pin G is activated. It also activates the signal on pin B to unlock the driver's side front door. So it'll handle that for me. So with that in mind, I think this is gonna be fairly easy. I think the hard part's gonna be getting to these connectors. So let me go back to the power door lock section of the manual. So the, the main connector that I was interested in was C293. And luckily this has all kinds of info about what the connectors are. Um, and part, something that really confused me here is C293, so we have both the, the male and the female connectors here, but they only show this being like a three pin connector. And we already know that C293 has more than that, just from the letters we were seeing in the schematic earlier. So what's weird is if I move on to the next page, it also refers to C293 right here with a six pin connector. And I believe this is actually the connector I'm looking for. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with the other connectors there, but I'm gonna ignore those for now. And this is fantastic. It says that uh, C293 is a Metropac 280 connector, and it's these two part numbers right here, 12034481 and 12034482. So I did some searching on Mauser, because they have a lot of Metropac stuff, and I was ab actually able to find these connectors right here, which are the 12034482. So I found, I got three of them, um, because I, there's another connector that I'm interested in that I'll show um, in the schematic a little bit later. But I have a feeling 
that this is what I need. But I also need this other 12034481. And it's on order from Mauser, but it's going to take like a year. And I didn't want to wait that long. So I did some more digging. And I found that AC Delco has a PT-104 pigtail that just, it's just basically a pigtail with a bunch of gray connectors, it's with a bunch of gray wires, I mean. And this pigtail appears to be the male um, connector that would plug into these female connectors. So I should be able to either use this gray wire um, or, or I can be really clean about it and get colored wire that matches all of the, the wire colors in the existing connector. And I think that's what I'd rather do to make sure all the thicknesses are the correct um, wire gauge and all that. Uh, but with this PT-104, I can, so I basically have to buy this pigtail, which is not cheap, just to get to the connector. Um, if you're watching this video in another year, Mauser is probably going to have like hundreds of them in stock by then, <laughs> so it won't even be an issue. But I had to do this because uh, I didn't want to wait a year. So I'm doing this probably more expensive than it should be, but... I really like the idea of not having to cut a single wire in the harness. I just think that's cool. I know it probably doesn't matter that much, but it just kind of adds to the challenge for me. So with those connectors, I should be able to make a pass-through that splices in the, the connections that I need. So back to the schematic here for a minute. We know that pin A is a tan wire, um, and this one right here means one square millimeter for the cross-sectional area. I can't remember what gauge that maps to off the top of my head, um, but there's a reference where I can find that. So that handles pin A of C293. The other ones should also be over here too. Pin B is 0.8 square millimeter black. Pin E is 0.8 square millimeter light blue. And I'm trying to see, there's pin C. Pin C is 0.8 square millimeter orange black. So we know so far that we've got power and then the lock and unlock switch. And then the door lock um, motor. And down here, pin F is the negative side of that same motor. So basically you got like your lock side of the motor and your unlock side of the motor. So I think we found five of the six pins on C293. I think we're only missing pin D. So I'm not sure where we're going to find pin D on C293. So I did some more digging here, and I'm on the ground distribution section of the schematic. I found C293 having a 3 square millimeter, so that's a pretty beefy connection um, wire. They didn't label the pin, but I'm guessing that this is the last pin that we didn't find before, which I believe was pin D. So I think ground is that last pin. So we've actually found everything we need just in this connector, but I do have one small concern. Actually, it's a pretty big concern. Um, the keyless entry schematic. That orange black wire is one square millimeter. Well, we've really got two one square millimeter connectors going into a two square millimeter connector. So we really need two square millimeters of wire gauge 
um, in order to supply this module safely. And the problem is that C293 doesn't have that thick of a gauge. C293 is only going to have 0.8 square millimeters. So I think I need to grab my 12 volts from a from a more reputable source, I guess you could say. The next thing is, where are these connectors? Where am I going to find C293? And if we look here, we've got some diagrams of the vehicle where we can try to find it. This diagram here says with outside power mirror. I don't have outside power mirrors, so I'm not going to look at that diagram, but I'm going to look at this one. Power door lock wiring four door. This arrow says the front of the vehicle is pointed that way. And if we look here, C293 should be right there. Um, so it shouldn't be too far away from this um, grommet right here. Is grommet the right word? Yeah, from this grommet. P300, I believe. Yeah, so we got P500 and P300 um, basically going from the door lock switch. So the wire goes through P500, which I think is like the quote unquote grommet from the door to the body. And then I think this P300 is kind of inside the body. If we look at P500, it's basically um, going through here and then P300 is another grommet right there. I think that the dashboard is gonna be in the way here just from my earlier searching. So I think I'm gonna have to pull the dashboard back out a little bit and I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm hoping that I can just loosen it and pull it back far enough to reach this connector. Um, I still haven't solved my issue of where I'm going to get better power, like better t uh, 12 volts always on, but there's a few different options I have. Um, I'm not too concerned about that. I was looking at other parts of the schematic, and C206A looks real um, promising for having some of the other signals I need. If we go back to the power door lock schematic, C206A actually has two square millimeter 12 volt power. And if I'm not mistaken, the remote keyless entry schematic over here also has it. Yes. So I think if I tap in at C206A, I'm basically gonna be tapping in essentially where the factory wiring also taps in. So I think C206A is my other connection that I'm going to want to tap into. And actually, if we go to the end gate window release section of this schematic, you'll see that C206A is also where the, where the rear lift gate window release gets passed through for the remote keyless entry. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if that's going to be populated on my blazer or not, but if C206A has that brown wire on pin B, then that'll be what I'll tap in for that optional um, lift gate release if I ever fix that. So one other interesting thing I noticed is the data link connector here on the remote keyless entry module. Um, this purple wire actually goes on the two-door version of the schematic goes through C206A on pin A. But interestingly, if you go to the four-door version of the schematic, it goes to this mystery connector called C318. But I can't find C318 
in the list of connectors anywhere. So I'm wondering if it was a typo. And C206A is also going to be where that purple wire goes. And that would be even better. Because then I wouldn't have to mess with the data link connector at all. Um, according to this diagram, C206A is up here, which also appears to be behind the dash. So I think basically I need to pull the dash out, hopefully not all the way, but just back far enough that I can gain access to this connector and this connector. And I guess I haven't shown you this yet, but C206A is the exact same MetroPak connector, 1203-4481 and 1203-4482. So I need two of each and uh, I actually have another one of these AC Delco PT-104s and obviously I got three of these, so I've got enough. I think I just need to make a couple of pass-through cables that pass through most of the cabling and just tap in where I need to. So the next step is to pull the dashboard back in my blazer and see if I can locate C206A and C293 and verify all the um, the wire colors and what wires are in there to make sure that I'm passing everything through with the proper gauge. And then I'm going to crimp some connectors. I've got a whole bunch of Metropack male and female connectors for different wire gauges here. Um, so I should be able to make use of these um, combined with all these other connectors and stuff and make some cables. I bought different colors of wire of the gauges um, as specified in this book too. This book's really amazing. Um, it does seem to have a few mistakes, but I mean, given the size of it, I mean, look at how thick this is. Um, I think it's probably understandable that they made a few mistakes here and there. Um, so yeah, behind the left side of instrument panel, above brake pedal support bracket. I'm really not a car guy, so I don't fully know what I'm doing here, but I know quite a bit about electronics. I mean, I don't even know what the brake pedal support bracket is, but I'm assuming it, it's a bracket that supports the brake pedal, right? Um, so yeah, I think I just need to find these two connectors and splice them in, and then I'll go from there.